Hello everyone, thank you for watching my video. My name is Eric of FlashBolts.com. I'm making this video today to go ahead and show you how we're changing the game of pistol crossbows. Everybody seems to look at these as toys for you know older children or maybe just the big kid in all of us. However, I want to present them as a viable solution for home defense. And the way I've done that is by creating flash bolts. So if you go to FlashBolts.com, you may be there already watching this video. If you go to FlashBolts.com, you'll see we've created something different for the pistol crossbow market. What we've done is we've created bolts with threaded tips to fit your 50 to 80 pound crossbow that are interchangeable. So you can take your standard fill tip, they all come with a standard fill tip. You take the standard fill tip out and you can thread it with any uh, standard size archery threads uh, as long as the tip will accept that. Uh, for example, we have right here, it's called our twisted tri-tip. Uh, this will go right into any of the threads of our flash bolts. We also have our crasher impact tips, which are here. This is a non-penetrating round. Um, both of these, I believe, are great solutions uh, for those who may be uncomfortable or unable or just unwilling to handle a firearm. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and take a few shots. So we have our two pork ribs in front of a high-density foam uh, floor mat target. Uh, we're going to take a few shots both uh, with the crasher impacts as well as the twisted tri-tips and we're going to go ahead and shoot some field tips through it too just to show uh, the destructive power that these bolts actually do have when combined with you know your, your pistol crossbow. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started on that. So what we're going to be firing with today is our M48 Hellhawk 80 pound draw assault pistol crossbow. We sell these on flashbolts.com um, to go right along with our flash bolts. We're going to be shooting our pork rib target here. Just again, this is two pork ribs together. Uh, just a little saran wrap. We ate most of them, so none of it goes to waste. Uh, we've got this in front of our two inch thick of high density floor mat foam target as well. So not only will we show the penetration through the ribs, but we'll see actually if it breaks any of them and if it goes through into the foam itself. I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up and uh, fire a couple of rounds. Our first few rounds are gonna be uh, just our twisted tri-tips as I've mentioned. Let me go ahead and put those on camera. Our first rounds are going to be our twisted tri-tip rounds. We're going to load those into our 7 and 9 inch flash bolts to show that they do fit both sizes uh, as well as they will create devastating penetration uh, no matter which length you go with. And we're going to be firing that with our, again, our, our 80 pound M48 Hellhawk crossbow. So go ahead and let's get a few shots on that. Looks like it just went off to the side on that one. Luckily, I've got a few more to show with. All right, so we fired six, landed three. That's my aim. Uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the damage. So we fired six shots. I did land three. That's my accuracy, unfortunately, um, at, at about 20 feet away. <clears throat> so with the three that did hit, let's go ahead and pull this away from the target to show you what did happen. So what we have first and foremost is full penetration on the orange bolt here. And also went quite a distance into the foam analog target. So though I was shooting at ribs, it hit a solid section of just meat and it penetrated completely through that and it got about another three and a half inches of penetration. The second one, let's comment on here, we have our, on our green bolt here, it definitely impacted bone. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get this even out without a pair of pliers, uh, but let's go ahead and let me show you here. It did go through It's, it is caught slightly on the bone, but it did go through that as well. And then third one is our black bolt here, and it did penetrate as well. Uh, it looks like it went right through, yeah, right in between the rib section. Yeah, this, this green flash bolt, this has fully penetrated a rib. This is, it has fully penetrated through a full layer of bone uh, to get, and it's still reaching another about three quarters of an inch of penetration into the target. <clears throat> so with that, that's reason number one, I believe, crossbow 
crossbows can be a viable option for home defense. Next one we're going to shoot is our Crasher Impact Tip. We're going to look at uh, hopefully getting some breakage on the ribs as well. Uh, I am going to use the same target, uh, the same rib target. Uh, I'm just going to have to unscrew the twisted tri-tip so I can just remove the bolt. And that is one of the benefits of having threaded tips on your bolt is that if it is embedded into a target, you can remove the remaining bolt and just uh, thread whatever, uh, whatever loadout you'd like uh, for your next shot. Um, so let me go ahead and get the orange out here. Oh, that definitely, I can feel it. It grazed along the bone. I can feel that as I'm pulling this out. Oh, goodness. And then our... Whew. That was not easy to come out. That was also along the bone. So without further ado, let's go ahead and shoot some of the Crasher Impact tips at our meat analog as well to see if we can get some breakage on the ribs. So our next set of shots is going to be with our Crasher Impact tips. What these have is the opposite of penetration. Uh, these are flattened tips for your pistol crossbow. Uh, these will create devastating impact. This is all impact force. This is not about penetration, though it may go into the target. Um, but this is primarily designated to uh, impact the target uh, with high velocity and distribution of impact force on the target. Uh, basically just a painful round. And especially if you're worried about over penetration, uh, I know that's something that a lot of people who consider maybe firearm for home defense uh, are worried about is, you know, if you say were to shoot something that you believe uh, is a threat in your home, you don't want that round to go through four layers of drywall and, to, and then through two rooms. Uh, with the both with the, the crasher impacts as well as any of our flash bolts, uh, over penetration is not going to be an issue. But without further ado, let's go ahead and shoot some of the uh, blunt impact tips uh, at our meat target. So we fired three and got three with our crasher impact after I adjusted my aim a little bit so we didn't have uh, <laughs> we didn't have to shoot too many rounds to get our uh, to get our data here. So let's go ahead with the purple round that I see here on the very end. Uh, it did scrape the bone um, and it did penetrate into the target about a little over an inch and it was on a thin spot of meat on this target. Uh, the black tip here. It definitely grazed bone as well. It only penetrated about a half of an inch, basically the tip and and then and a little bit more. Um, but again, these are not designed for penetration. This is pure impact stopping power. Uh, your target, if you've got if you got a scumbag in your living room that shouldn't be there, they're going to think twice about continuing what they're doing. And then our final tip, uh, it looks like almost penetrated through the meat. It's still. Um, And that's just our black, uh, that's our tr twisted tri-tip there. Uh, but let's see if I can get a little bit closer on the camera where we can see the back of it. I apologize if this seems gory for anybody, but it's just pork ribs. If you like barbecue, you've seen this. Um, but this is what our impact dip uh, did here. It almost penetrated. looks like just a little layer of connective tissue is what stopped that. And again, it scraped the bone. It went between the ribs on this one as well. But let's just take a look. I'm going to go ahead and open up the... The wrapper on this, trying to get my hand on that twisted tri-tip sticking out. And let's see what the damage would really look like here on camera. So again, this is our twisted tri-tip. This is solid uncooked pork bone. This is penetrated through solid uncooked pork bone. Uh, with the Crasher Impact tips, um, this was the, about the deepest penetration we got was right between the ribs, but that's the entry wound right there. Uh, they do, if it does penetrate the target any, it's going to leave a large opening wound. So again, viable option for home defense using an 80 pound crossbow. Uh, and then finally, I'm going to go ahead and loosely wrap this again, and we'll just send some field tips into it and see what they do for penetration.
right, so we fired three shots into our meat analog rib target, um, and it appears they definitely penetrated quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and just pull this out of the mat here, get all three at once perhaps. And what we have here is a, well, it's a solid grouping as well. <laughs> um, I did adjust my aim just that little bit more. And as you see, it penetrated the meat as well as the foam target uh, quite a distance. So there we go. I hope this displays how viable of an option pistol crossbows can be for your home defense needs. Thank you for watching my video. Everything that we have shot through or shot with is available on flashbolts.com. Go check us out if you're not already there. Like us on Facebook at flashbolts.az. Thank you very much. We'll have new videos coming out soon.